Can you run your virtual machine off of your external hard drive? That's the question I'm going to try to answer today. So this is an external hard drive by Crucial. You can see in a previous video of how I tested this using different formats like uh, XFAT versus APFS. So what I'm trying to do here is run Windows and Visual Studio on my MacBook. But the problem is my MacBook has limited space on the hard drive. So do I run it from the hard drive and sacrifice all that valuable real estate on my hard drive or buy one of these less expensive external drives and still get my work done? So here's the setup I have on my computer. You can see I have a MacBook Pro and I'm using Parallels, which is like VMware or VirtualBox for my computers. Now, Parallels is my choice simply because it's so easy to use and the performance is great compared to the other alternatives I just mentioned. So the comparison that we're doing in this video is two different virtual machines. So I have Windows 11, which is installed on my hard drive. And then I also have Windows 11, not called Windows 11 here on the label, but it's also Windows 11 and that's running on my external hard drive. So let's do a quick speed test on a common task that I usually work with. So here's the setup of what I plan to run. So I'm going to compare the internal hard drive versus the external. I'm going to run four tests. I'm going to do a Windows startup. I'm going to launch Visual Studio, create a project for a web development tool, and then compile and run that project. Honestly, Visual Studio is the only reason I need Windows. Most of the th things that I can do with software development, I can do just fine on the Mac. But Visual Studios for Windows is a unique case. So here we go with test number one. This is the internal hard drive. And let's see how long it takes for Windows Desktop to appear when I'm running on the internal hard drive. So it looks like that's about done. Let's call that eight seconds. That's pretty good for a startup speed. All right, so the next test I'm going to do is running on the Windows hard drive. Now, it does say Windows 10 here, but I know it's not. It's Windows 11. So let's go ahead and start it and click the start button here. And let's see about what we get. Is uh, eight seconds going to be the record or is this gonna come close? So there we go, we got about nine seconds. I think that's a pretty good number. All right, onto the next test. You can see that we're going to launch Visual Studio. So let's go to the desktop that is on my hard drive and I'm going to launch to Visual Studio 2022 preview. Let's see about how long that takes. Wow, that was less than three, four seconds. Let's put that down as a solid three. All right, so next up is to launch Visual Studio on the external hard drive. So let's go ahead and choose the click on there, start the timer, and let's see about how long that takes. So that is about the same, about three seconds. All right, so next up is to create a web project using ASP.NET. All right, so let's try the internal hard drive. Let's go to File, Project, New, and let's choose the uh, ASP.NET Core Web Development with Model View Controller. I'm gonna choose Next, Next, and here comes the Create button. So let's create and start the timer. Let's see what we're up to. It looks like about two, three, four. Let's give it four seconds. All right, so now we're gonna try the same project this time on the external virtual machine. So let's pick uh, the same project here. Click next and next, and then here we go. So when I choose create and then push the start button on the timer, let's see if this is any slower. So this one definitely is not picking up like the uh, first project. So that internal hard drive was pretty zippy and looks like we are about done now. So let's give that about 12 seconds. All right, so now the goal is to make this thing run. So I'm gonna click the start button and then start the timer. When there's a compiled project, we should see a web page appear and it'll have the welcome message. So yeah, it's doing its job and there's welcome. So it says here 10 seven, I'm gonna put that at about nine. Okay, here comes the final test. We're going to run the application using the external hard drive. So let's go ahead and click the start button and start the timer and wait for that website to appear. So this one seems to be running similar and it looks like we're gonna give it about the same. So let's go with nine. So here are the final results. I made a quick graph based on the times that I took. And you can see that the uh, times are pretty competitive. I don't know what happened here on creating a project where the external hard drive was rather slow. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this. So I take all those 
massive virtual machines that take literally 200 or more gigabytes of storage on my hard drive and move them to an external source that I use occasionally. And so now I can use my expensive Mac hard drive for more important things like running the operating system while I'm doing other tasks. By the way, if you'd like to learn how to build web applications using ASP.NET or Java or some of the other popular programming languages, that's what I do. I'm a professor of computer science and software development at Grand Canyon University. So most of the channel uh, topics that I cover are how to become a software developer. So if you like that kind of a thing, subscribe and make sure you check out the rest of the videos. We'll see you real soon.